Good morning and welcome back to City Line. With me, I have two really kind and wonderful people here to talk about Parks Appreciation Day. So please join me in welcoming Mr. Richard Madsen. Welcome back. Thank you. You are the Community and Special Projects Coordinator for Metro Parks Tacoma. Okay, sock cam. Let's see it. Uh, put your foot over this. There it is. Okay, look at these <laughs> socks. Amazing. You know, I mean, you look well-mannered and very park-like until we see the socks. There's a wild side. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and then this beautiful woman next to you, Gail Sklar, you are the Habitat Steward for Metro Parks Tacoma. Welcome, my dear. Thank you very much. Good to have you here in all of your it's beautiful lapis jewelry. All right, Richard, if somebody has just moved here or they've been busy raising a family, and they've been using our parks, but didn't know there was a Parks Appreciation Day. What do we say to them? What is it? Well, it's really a celebration of Earth Day, which has been around for a long, long time. It's an opportunity for volunteers to come out, give back to their local park and open space. And we're really proud to say that this is our 17th annual Parks Appreciation Day. Wow. And it's, it's fantastic. It's grown to be one of our largest volunteer events of the year. 17th year. You guys are doing something right to have that kind of sustainability and momentum mm -hmm. when it comes to a volunteer program where people are physically exerting themselves outside. So my hat's off to you because that's outstanding. So when is it, Richard? So we actually have two dates this year, April 21st and April 28th. Okay. And we're asking volunteers to give about three hours of their time, come out and choose one of those dates. Or if you feel extra brave, come out for both. We'd love to have you. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you bet. Come out for both. So, Gail, first off, I know that you're a regular chip-in volunteer, but I want to hear about your background first that you bring to this and then how you got involved in volunteering. Okay, thank you. you um, I taught for 44 years and back east in the Philadelphia area, Delaware County is where I'm from. I was a master gardener and I got very involved with native plants there and growing orchids. And um, I moved here because of family, and I took the Master Gardener program again, learned about the Native Plant Habitat Steward program, and applied to that, was accepted, and spent a wonderful time learning all about the native plants here because it's so different. Mm. And one of our classes, Jim Evans, our instructor, took us to China Lake. Yes. And my heart hurt when I saw the lake. It was, it was a cathartic moment. I, I never felt that kind of connection with the park before. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. And so here, and how many years ago was that? Uh, about a year and a half ago. I we love that. We started China Lake, November was a year. Okay, so that's the reason why you got involved, was that China Lake stole your heart. It Plus stole your my background heart. is just tailor-made for this. <laughs> Well, there's so much to learn. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, can we have every volunteer have that kind of background and then just have their heart stolen and say, hey, by the way, can I volunteer? It would be fantastic. Wouldn't it be, though? And they're out there. They are. So, Richard, when you, what would you tell our viewers who were thinking about uh, getting themselves involved in Parks Appreciation Day, um, but they just haven't quite committed yet? Well, I'd say, you know, give it a shot. Come on out yeah. and and try it, you know, it's a great opportunity, especially if you're new to the area, you know, you can come out and get to know some of your neighbors, work shoulder to shoulder with people in your community. And it's just a, a wonderful time to give back to your local park and open space and enjoy the beauty that surrounds us here in the Pacific Northwest. Yes, and the education, uh, let me tell you something, when I used to work for Metro Parks, um, I would be a part of this program. And to be able to uh, pull weeds with a master gardener and talk about why I got white hydrangeas in my yard versus the purple pink ones I wanted, <laughs> so valuable. And that's generational knowledge that you cannot get. I mean, that's like someone's grandmother handing you their private recipe. It's, it's wonderful. I mean, the camaraderie is outstanding. So as we think about that, I mentioned pulling weeds. What are volunteers asked to do, number one? And then how old do you have to be to participate? All right. Well, first, we need you to show up. Yeah. So that's, that's number one. Come on out. Give it, a, give it a try. We're going to be spreading mulch, pulling weeds, picking up litter, anything you can think of to keep a park clean and green. Yes. And sometimes it's dirty. 
Uh, and I've seen a few like little dirt weed fights. There's lots of laughter out there. People having a great time. And I'll oh, see, there we are. Okay, so how old do we have to be speaking of that? So there's no age limit. So grab the kids, grab, grab grandpa and grandma, come on out. We would love to have you. I love that. So yeah, bring out the generations. And this mm -hmm. is also a great way for organizations to give back as well. So if you are someone, let's say, I'm just gonna pick Emergency Food Network because they do so much for Tacoma. If you have a bunch of people that you think you wanna go out there and give back to the community, give you a call and, and bring your people and start helping. Absolutely. I love that. So is this happening in every park? Not every park, okay. um, but we've got a major, major list of places to choose from. And for more information, you can check out the website, parksappreciationday.net. Mm -hmm. That's all one word, parksappreciationday.net. Sites all throughout Pierce County. Oh, perfect, perfect. So some of my favorite parks are in there that I want to go to and spiffy up. Yes. So Gail, tell me more about this connection you mentioned to Tacoma and China Lake Park. Well... As I said, when I went out there, I, I, I just, my heart was there. My heart was saddened by it. And I went to a, a, an event and I met Richard and I said, how can I become Habitat Steward for China Lake? And he was sort of like his mouth dropped a little bit. And he was, <laughs> oh wow, I have a live one here. We have a volunteer yes. here. So we walked it and planned it and decided what we would do and what areas we tackle. We have a cadre of volunteers who come out every month or as many months as they can. We meet 9 to 12 the first Saturday of every month and we spend three hours no matter rain, mm. sleet, whatever. We're there because we have other areas we can go into that are a little more sheltered. We bring the tools, we bring snacks, I bake homemade cookies for my crew and then afterwards some of us go to lunch. And we oh. get to have a friendship. We're building community of volunteers. In uh, April, uh, August last year, I had a barbecue and people came and uh, I plan to do that again this summer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so all of your friends, people like you, we need more of that. We need more. And we have people coming out from seven years old to 75 oh helping goodness. us. And there's something everyone can learn how to make a life ring around a tree. Mm -hmm. And the skills you're learning there, you can share with your neighbors and friends and family for their own properties. So when you talk about being a steward of China Lake, the habitat steward, uh, tell us some things you're doing at China Lake. Okay, we are removing invasives like English ivy. Yes. We are removing uh, Himalayan blackberry. And when we replace it, we're replacing it with native plants that will help the pollinators that thrived on the Himalayan blackberry to continue thriving. So we have an eye to the complete environment, the birds, the bees, mm -hmm. and people. Uh, we're trying to make it a very attractive and peaceful place for people. I have a dream of putting benches out there. Oh, yes. We have a um, wonderful little undefined areas of natives that haven't been completely covered over by the English ivy, so we're trying to, you know, be everywhere at once. Yes. But if we could have more people, we would do even better. And we've had college students for getting credit for classes. We, as the only thing you really need is to dress for the weather and bring a pair of gloves. There we go. Which was one of my questions about bringing gardening tools. So no tools, <laughs> just gloves, Richard, right? Bring gloves. If you have a favorite garden, rake, shovel, pair of loppers, they're always welcome. Oh, I love that. Yes. And you mentioned dress for the weather. So what about the weather, Richard? So as Gail mentioned in her events, we yeah. are rain or shine. We do live in Washington. <laughs> Thank so you. So I'm guessing that most people have at least a raincoat or two that they can bring along. So. And we're going to get after it no matter what the weather is. That's right, because if you wait for great weather, you might as well just forget about it. Because, <laughs> And not only that, but this is what we have. Our plants love this kind of weather. So is it necessary to sign up in advance for Parks Appreciation? If you're going to bring a group of larger than 10, then give me a call, let me know. Otherwise, just show up. We would love to have you. There's plenty of sites to, sites to choose from and lots of fun to be had. Okay, and if I can't participate in Parks Appreciation Day for whatever reason, but I would still like to lend a hand, what do I do? I'm glad you asked. So please give me a call. Uh, shoot me an email. We've got several opportunities to get involved just about every Saturday of the month. Gail's work party is one of those at China Lake Park. Some Sundays as well. 
and it's through the Citizens Helping Improve Parks, chip in for short, as you That's mentioned right. earlier. I love that, and boy, I'll tell you what, if Gail and her barbecue and cookies <laughs> and hair and warm smile is not enough to get you out there, the beauty of China Lake oh. And how hidden and what a sanctuary it is will slay you. Absolutely. <laughs> it's right there by Fred Meyer. You, if you don't know what's there, you don't know what's there. It's so beautiful. The address is 1811 South Shirley Street. There we go. It's a little bit uh, north of uh, right in there. Fred Meyer's. That pocket back there. Yeah. So thank you both so much for being here today and for spreading such great news and telling us about such a wonderful opportunity to keep all of our parks sustainable and how to go about doing it. And let me tell you something, there is nothing better when it comes to raising a child than to teach them how to pull weeds. The mm -hmm. conversations that come out of that will last a lifetime. Exactly. So thank you so very much. Thank you thank so you. much. My pleasure. When we come back after uh, Richard and Gail do a little bit of running around, we will have the Afifi Shriners here talking about all the goodness they do. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.